Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about verify inverse functions. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. So, what is an inverse function? For any one fun or any one-to-one -one function, f of x equals y, a function f inverse negative one power right there uh, of x is an inverse function of f if f inverse y equals x. This can also be written as f inverse of f of x equals x for all x in the domain of f. It also allows that f of f inverse of x equals x for all x in the domain of f inverse if f inverse is the inverse of f. Whew, a lot of stuff there. The notation f inverse, the negative one power like, is read f inverse. Like any other function, we can use any variable name as the input for f inverse. So if we will, so we will often write f inverse of x, which we read as f inverse of x. Keep in mind that f inverse of x is not equal to one over f of x, and that's the whole thing there. Uh, just so you know, the the negative one refers to as an inverse. It's not like to the negative one power, and not all functions have inverses. A little note there. All right, so let's go with an example here. One. We're given this uh, function, right? And they tell us this particular one-to-one -one function. So this function here is one, two, one. And we say f of two is equal to four, and f of five is equal to 12. What are the corresponding input output values of inverse? So, what are the corresponding input and output values for the inverse function? Okay, all right. Well, they tell us here that f of two equals four. So that means our inverse, f inverse of four must equal two. The output of our original function becomes the input and the input becomes the output. Same thing here, if f of five, they said is 12, then our f inverse function is f of 12, f inverse of 12 is equal to 5, okay? So if we want to name our inverse function, let's say f inverse of x, let's label it g, g of x here, then we can say g of 4 equals 2, and g of 12 equals 5, all right? And we can see that coordination on uh, the table right here. We can say we have our input outputs, x and f of x, and x, g of x. And we can see 2, 4, and then 4, 2, and 5, 12, and 12, 5. All right, let me erase this, and we'll go to the next part. All right, so we want to test inverse relationships algebraically. We're given our function f of x equals 1 over x plus 2, and g of x is equal to 1 over x minus 2, and we want to see is g equal to f inverse, okay? So is g an inverse of f? So we can test this here by saying this. What is, try to find what is g of f of x? Let's see what that is. Well, g of f of x, using our composite function here, we take g, which is 1 over Okay, 1 over x, and then where x is, we plug in f of x. 1 over x plus 2, and then we subtract 2 there. Let's simplify that. This becomes, well, x plus 2 minus 2. This double division fraction thing becomes x plus 2, and that equals x, right? The 2's cancel. So, we're good. We can say, so we can say that g equals f inverse and f equals g inverse, okay? Well, what if we want to verify the other formula? Let's do it the other way around. f of g of x, 
Well, it's still equal x there. Let's find out. So we take f of x, which is 1 over x plus 2, and we put g of x in there, which is 1 over x minus 2. Okay? That simplifies to be 1 over, the 2's cancel, 1 over 1 over x, which is just x. Verifying that we're good, and worked out they both equaled x there. So we can say that yes, these f of x, or g of x is the inverse of f, uh, f of x. Or, yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, let me erase this and we'll get to another example. All right, so we're given this example here, determining inverse relationships for power functions. If f of x equals x to the third, a cube function, and g of x equals one third x, is g equal to f inverse of x? So let's label that here. f of x here is equal to x to the third. And g of x, they said, is one third x. Is g equal to f inverse? Okay? That's our question there. So if we want to see if g is equal to f inverse, then we should see if f of g of x, what is that equal? Well, f of g of x. So f is, some val is x to the third power. So inside there, we're going to put one third x there. Okay? So that's g of x inside. Simplify that. Well, one third, one third times x to the third power. That's x to the third power over 27. Remember, we apply the third power to all parts there. And is that equal to x? No. So we would say that these two functions are not inverses of each other. Okay? So no or not inverses. All right? Well, I hope this video was informative for you and you learned how to verify inverse functions. If you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So, as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com